Yo, what is good, everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. For today's video, I wanted to go ahead and highlight a sneaker that, in my opinion, is underrated and somewhat underappreciated for how good it actually is. Yes, it's been over a month since its initial release, but after owning the Tom Sachs General Purpose shoe for over a month, I found it to be absolutely mandatory to go ahead and give you a progress report on these so-called boring shoes. No, those aren't my words. Those are the words from the designer, Tom Sachs, because if left up to me, they could be called a few different names and boring wouldn't be one of them. Unfortunately, it wasn't me that designed the sneakers. It was Tom Sachs, who has been working with Nike for more than 10 years, releasing three different collaborative sneakers, which include the Marjard 1.0, 2.0, and of course, the extremely polarizing overshoe, all of which that sold out instantly. But before we go any further, I did want to go ahead and give a special thank you and shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Keeps. If you didn't already know, two out of every three men will experience a noticeable amount of hair loss by the age of 35, which means a majority of us. Fortunately, there is something you can do about it. The Keep system is designed to prevent and in some cases reverse the effects of male pattern baldness. This isn't just another sponsored video and baseless claim because I am a legitimate customer. I can confidently say that Keeps works. As a matter of fact, link below is my full testimonial video of my hair loss journey and how I use Keeps to recover it. When it comes to avoiding hair loss, reversing it is rare, so prevention is key. Hit the link in the description to go ahead and visit the Keeps site and get a full rundown of the Keeps system as well as the best offer available. Anyways, with all that being said, special thank you once again to Keeps for making this video possible. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the topic at hand. At a retail price of $110, the Tom Sachs General Purpose Shoe gives a brand new meaning to the word value, especially relative to Nike's general interpretation of the term. This sneaker is just a whole step up from what we generally get from Nike, which does make sense as Tom Sachs' goal was to produce a shoe that is meant for everyday practical use or in his own terms, general purpose. So it really should come as no surprise that these sneakers are so well constructed and purposefully developed as this has been known to be a part of Tom Sachs' design language throughout the years. So while the design might not be the most unique among what's available on the sneaker market today, some may even call it boring. The complexity of engineering behind the shoe is anything but that. And so working our way through the details from the ground up, the outsole is comprised of a thick and durable dense rubber, which follows all the way through the midsole. This alone adds a feeling of weight and quality that lets you know you've got a truly elevated pair of Nikes. What's really great and unique about this kind of thick rubber construction is that the midsole is way less prone to wrinkles and showing any signs of wear and much more prone to holding structure over a long period of time, which is actually in stark contrast to what we've seen on sneakers like the Jordan 1, the Jordan 3, 4s, whose midsole is comprised of Vylon and will show signs of wear and crumble over time. Moving on up through the sneaker, we have a mud guard that is comprised of a nice quality suede, which goes into a fuse material and a super unique mesh, which almost resembles a pattern that you'd see on tweed. This pattern is unlike anything I've seen before, let alone on another sneaker. The fuse material is tactically positioned all throughout the mesh, allowing for a great level of stability and structure, which will for sure come in handy, avoiding ankle turns or tearing of that nice mesh fabric. Finally, the sneaker is finished with more suede throughout, including the heel counter and eye stays, blue pull tabs, and of course, you've got the Tom Sachs signature and serial number, which adorns the mesh tongue on the shoe. Let me reiterate, this is a $110 shoe. That's a solid value. As a matter of fact, I might go as far as to say that if there was ever a sneaker produced by Nike worth paying resale for, this might be it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying to go out and spend $400 on this sneaker. I'm not saying that whatsoever. 
But in a world where the aforementioned Jordan 1, 3, and 4 resells regularly well above that $400 price point, then maybe it's worth considering picking up a pair because it is that good. Of course, that's assuming you do like the shoe. Anyways, if you're patient, you might not even have to pay resale because there is a restock on the way coming in August, which is in just a few weeks. So whether you're paying resale or trying to scoop these up for retail, I did want to go ahead and talk about sizing, which is actually directly correlated to my one gripe about the shoe. My foot generally ranges from a size 8.5 to 9 in US men's sizing. I did elect to go ahead and opt for a size eight and a half, which is the same as my Jordan one size. And I'm very happy with how they fit. My only reservation and gripe about this shoe, though they do feature a nice padded liner at the Achilles area of the sneaker, these do tend to suffer from some heel slippage. When tied well, it's mitigated quite a bit, but it is still present. It's really not that major, but I thought it would be worth mentioning. Anyways, if you're like me and you have a shoe range between two sizes, I'd go ahead and take the smaller of the two. However, if you generally take one size all throughout shoes, go ahead and take your true to size size and you should be good to go. Anyways, long story short, it really is such a well-built shoe. Now, as it relates to everyday wear, this is definitely a lifestyle shoe ready to go with you anywhere you are headed. With that, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the most comfortable shoe out there, but it definitely falls into that category of a shoe that you can go ahead and wear all day and be comfortable. So if you're on the fence about this shoe and you just need that extra push, here it is, you're getting it right now. Definitely give these shoes a try. I'm a huge fan. I can't stop wearing them. For as long as I've had them, it's very, very difficult to not want to wear them. And to me, that says a lot about how good the sneaker actually is. Anyways, those are my thoughts on the Tom Sachs General Purpose Shoe. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this sneaker. I know that everybody's pretty divided and it's pretty polarizing as it relates to whether or not this is a good shoe or not. And I'm definitely curious what the consensus is for you guys down in the comment section down below. Also, if you did enjoy today's video, please go ahead and leave a like as it does help me a ton and it helps get the video out to more kind people like yourself. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe because I'll be uploading more fashion and sneaker related content to the channel and you don't want to miss out. Anyways, thank you so much again to Keith for making this video possible. Thank you to you guys for continuing to come back to the channel. I'm totally cognizant of the fact that YouTube is a giant ocean of content and you chose to spend a little bit of time with me. And for that, I am truly humbled and I'll always consider it an immense privilege to get to make content for you. So thank you so much. With that, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Peace and be blessed.